So today we're going to do Isenck's theory of criminal personality and we're going to cover everything that you need to answer any question about Isenck. That includes all the stuff about the traits and even the really tricky content on the neuropsychology. You can see the spec on the screen now and if you need any help with any of the other topics in psychology there will be a video on this channel. So let's get into it. So Eisen came up with a biological theory of criminal personality. That means that he says that all criminals have got the same three personality traits. These are psychoticism, extroversion and neuroticism. And you can remember this with a little mnemonic of PEN. P-E-N for psychoticism, extroversion and neuroticism. And he says that all criminals have got the same three personality traits and that they have a biological basis. So there is a biological reason why these three traits happen in people. Now, extroversion is somebody who is really outgoing, um, maybe somebody who loves things like roller coasters and rock climbing. Either way, someone who's really outgoing and sociable. Neurotics are people who are highly emotional and anxious and they might get quite angry relatively quickly. And finally, psychotics are people who lack empathy. This means that they're not able to kind of put themselves in other people's shoes and they're not able to understand other people's feelings. They may also be a little bit aggressive. Think the Joker in Batman. He wouldn't even think twice about stealing an old lady's purse if he had to. So I can't stress this enough that Isaac says that these three personality traits aren't just random, that actually you have something in your biology that may cause you to have these three personality traits. In an exam, you may get a question that says, outline the neuropsychology of blank, and it will give you one of the traits. So you need to be able to answer that. So let's take a look at the neuropsychology of the three personality traits. Now in the case of extroversion, it's caused by a part of the brain called the reticular activating system. Although it sounds quite scary and complicated, it's really not that bad. All you need to know is that it's the part of the brain that filters out information from our environment. See, in a normal brain, the RAS filters out a normal amount of information, meaning that the brain is stimulated to a normal amount. Instead of saying brain, we say cerebral cortex. However, those with extroversion, according to Weizenk, are said to have an overactive RAS, which means it filters out too much information, which means that our brain is craving stimulation, it's under aroused. This leads to us wanting the stimulation from our environment, and that could be extreme roller coasters, extreme sports, or risky criminal acts. So the key terms that you need for extroversion are an overactive reticular activating system and an underactive cerebral cortex. Now, neuroticism is linked to the autonomic nervous system. This is a part of our biology that regulates how we respond to stressful situations. Now, neurotic's autonomic nervous system is more easily aroused. It's over aroused. That's because they're really anxious people. And then therefore, this has an effect on a part of the brain called the limbic system. The limbic system is all to do with our emotions and violence. And already you can see how this links to the trait of neuroticism. So, to summarize, people who are neurotic have an overactive autonomic nervous system, which leads to an overactive limbic system, which creates these anxious and stressed out individuals. So the key terms for neuroticism are the autonomic nervous system and the limbic system. Now for psychoticism, it's probably the most straightforward one. Dopamine is a chemical in your brain that is all to do with rewards. So every time your teacher tells you you're doing a good job, your brain releases loads of dopamine. Now in people who are psychotic, according to Weizank, they have too many dopaminergic neurons. That just means neurons that have dopamine or produce dopamine. And therefore, that means that they are really motivated by rewards and they don't care what they have to do to get those rewards. For example, stealing. They don't care that they have taken something from someone else as long as they satisfy that dopamine craving. So for psychoticism, remember the key terms, dopaminergic neurons, dopamine and rewards. So if you want to test your knowledge on it, we've got an example five marker here. Please pause it if you want to give it a go. Otherwise, a model answer is going to come on the screen now. And as you can see, all we're really looking for are some of these key terms. So if you can get used to using some of the key terms, make sure you focus your revision on those. You're well on your way to getting yourself full marks. Otherwise, if you want to test yourself in a bit more of a fun way, I've put a QR code on the screen for a blooker. Please scan it, give it a go and test yourself. Play some solo games and try and get a high score. Otherwise, all that's left for you to do is check out the other videos, like, subscribe, and get yourself revising.